Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Sun. So again, like I just said, be careful of what you're giving your energy to. You have a major, major blessing here that is coming, Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. It's time for you to be liberated. You could have a windfall of abundance, a relationship, a project, something that's coming in that's going to bring about long-term stability for you and it's going to help you feel liberated this is what i was saying earlier about getting into creative projects you may really want to work on right now like your own health i'm hearing your vitality um some of you need to be mindful right now of like your solar plexus chakra with all of this yellow and this gold here i purposely wanted yellow flowers and i actually have a yellow candle burning right here um it's a lemon candle and lemon is um very cleansing okay so make sure that you're cleansing and clearing your energy a lot the four of pentacles right here i feel is like something that you've been holding back from doing or maybe you haven't had the means to do something you're going to be given the green light here the divine is going to somehow come in and give you a blessing there's a lot of um financial abundance is coming here you're moving into a period of having a lot of victory and success so if you've been worried about like a job or some type of financial breakthrough i do feel like that's coming which is again why you need to be careful with um engaging in anything that is karmic because when you do see everything and all of us are connected the best way i can explain this is if you hang around certain people who are of a lower vibration than you you will begin to attract the types of things that they attract, right? So if they attract um, situations that keep them in poverty, you will begin to be a magnet for the same things. So you have to get yourself away from people who they're always in some type of messy situation. And this could be people that you love dearly, but you have to get out of that because this is, you know, codependency, and it's like, this is a lot of codependency. You don't let people guilt trip you into doing things. No, move away from that energy because if you don't, it's going to block you. Also, you know, with Mercury retrograde, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, if you are in an energy where you are feeling heartbroken and you're down and you're sad, it's very hard for you to manifest. If you're in an energy of being very indecisive, it's almost impossible for you to manifest things. That is the reason why as these illusions come towards you, you need to be mindful of it. If you've made up your mind that you're not going to allow certain things to happen in your life or you don't want certain people to be in your life or come back or whatever, you need to stick to that. Don't let any type of illusion yeah, make you feel so defeated that you turn your back to what you know is your actual reality. Keep your head focused right now on your Ten of Cups. So right now you need to really surrender and trust your intuition because, yeah, you've been stuck and complacent in a situation that's blocking you from having your firm foundation or an opportunity to celebrate or be celebrated. An opportunity for you to have this successful relationship, marriage, commitment, home, you know, job, business, or whatever, you you right now, you're going to have to surrender. It's something that maybe you've been holding on to very tightly. You have no choice now but to let it go. Yeah. And this right here is definitely a twin flame soulmate union that's coming. So, yeah, you've been stuck here. You could have someone that you feel is, you know, a twin flame or a soulmate that you, you've been holding on to or they're holding on to your energy. You have no choice now but to surrender this connection. If someone is not offering you a commitment and you know that you want commitment, security, and stability, you're going to have to let go of this. I feel like you've been holding out or holding back, perhaps waiting on an offer. For some of you, you know, it's totally up to you. These are readings, okay? You know your situation. If you feel like it's best for you to wait on a particular person, that's fine. But what I'm sensing here is by you choosing that you're okay with whatever the situation is with this with a particular person especially that's what's going to lead you to the happiness that you want when you make up in your mind you're okay whether this person comes back or not you're okay whether you get married or you you're single you're okay either way this is this is what this is about us ex the acceptance of you being completely in your power 
your power and your happiness shouldn't be dependent upon anything or anyone else. Yeah, five of cups. See, the Ten of Cups is here, the Five of Cups. Something here that you have very, very high hopes for. I feel like you've been disappointed in this situation. So for some of you, you have something that's coming back that has disappointed you multiple times. And here in the center is the Sun and the Four of Wands. So for a lot of you, this is like um, a very significant connection that you have with a particular person. Okay. Now, the Four of Wands to me represents um, family, the home. This could, be a, this could even be a family member. Okay, for some of you, it's like you're needing to liberate yourself. This situation, no matter what you give to it, it's not bringing you wish fulfillment. Now, maybe something is going to change, but you have to understand that you need to allow someone to prove to you that they've made a change. The tower is here, the nine of cups, the king of pentacles, and the knight of cups. For some of you, you do have a person that's coming in and they are very serious now. Okay, there's been some kind of divine intervention. Keep in mind, this is energy, okay? This king of pentacles could be the person that's about to enter your life that's going to really, really help you to have this ace of pentacles, this security and stability. Maybe you're going to finally accept the fact that you've been holding out for so long and you're really going to get everything that you, that you ever wanted. It just took time. This could be someone from the past. It could be someone brand new that you haven't even met yet. Take it how it resonates. In the end, you will get what you want. You will have a partner that brings you security and stability. And this is going to change your life. The tower is here with the nine of cups. This is going to free you and liberate you. I definitely feel for a lot of you, um, especially the women or the feminine energies. A lot of you definitely have a masculine that's coming in. And this person, they're going to be very, very committed. I feel like you're going to meet someone. They're bringing the security and the stability that you truly deserve and that you desire. And this is the the reward of you being in this energy for so long of waiting. But now you have to open yourself up to this because for some of you, you have a lot of people in your energy right now. It's best that you manifest exactly what you want because you're in an energy where you can have exactly what you want. I just saw 1010. Some of you, you keep going between someone that you're currently dealing with and a person from the past. Why not just manifest a person that's brand new that can give you exactly what you want? This, to me, in this season, you need to see that you do not have to settle. You don't. You don't have to settle for someone in the past. You don't have to settle for the person right now or the situation that it kind of gives you what you want, but not quite. If you're still wondering if there is more, you need to know that there is more and you can have it. I want to look into this four of wands and the lovers with the sun. What is the good stuff, spirit? What is this? And then we're going to look at this king of pentacles person. Knight of cups. This knight of cups and king of pentacles, for some, it, it could be one person. For some, it could be two. You could have someone that's coming to you that's new and it's something that's, you know, fresh. It's kind of casual. It's fun. It's flirty. You could also have a king of pentacles. This person could be a little bit older than you. They could be more established in life. But for some of you, this could be one person. Take it how it resonates. Whatever it is, though, you have something that's coming in and it's going to make you very happy. Actually, let me see. Spirit, tell me about this tower. What is this tower, please? Why is the tower here? Okay, a bunch of cards. Okay, there we go. <laughs> love it oh my goodness so the tower is <laughs> wow oh my goodness the t i don't know whoa i don't know what this is it just came over me the tower is a decision is being made and this king of wands is coming in this king of wands is someone who is very very strong and passionate all right the page of swords that's why i see oh spirit never leads me wrong I just told you guys, for some of you, you could have multiple people in your energy. You may be surprised. There could be someone brand new that just enters your life out of nowhere. This King of Wands, this is someone different for some of you. I'm really getting new energy, okay? I feel like for some of you, you, had, you could have a Knight of Cups or a King of Pentacles or both in your life, there's a new person entering your energetic field that you're going to move forward with. I, and didn't I just say that? You don't have to settle because what you want, which will be most likely like an actual twin flame, a divine counterpart, is what's coming towards you. Justice. 
everything in your life is being balanced out, you've had the strength or you need to have the strength right now to call to make the decision to leave all things behind that don't serve you so that this energy can come in. This could also be your energy of having the strength to really, really take the lead in your life. I asked, what is a tower? This is, this is a shocking. Wow. Tell me more about this King of Wands. And I'm telling you, it's going to make you very happy. Very happy. Yeah. And the lovers is out here. So you have a choice. You have a, you have to make a choice because whatever new beginning you're going into, it does it in, it includes another person. But this person has to be passionate about the life that you want. This is not somebody that's going to be in and out, or you have to think about where. No, this person is going to free you from this energy of being the wounded warrior. They're they're coming to take a load off. I feel like you've been discontent and bored with love and dating and juggling, being juggled for so long. You have somebody that's about to come in and I'm telling you, they're going to free you. This is definitely going towards love today. I mean, it could be something else for some. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be, you know, someone in the family being more helpful or supportive. But I'm getting love. For some of you, you truly are about to meet your counterpart this person, they they either know what you've been through or they're going to have a very deep understanding. You don't have to feel like you've missed any more opportunities. So if you're dealing with someone right now and it's not what you want, don't worry about it. If someone comes back from the past and they're still not offering you that stable commitment that you want, don't worry about it. Because when you least expect it, this person's going to show up in your life, this new person. Now, of course, for some, there could be someone from the past that's finally getting the strength to get into this King of Wands energy to show you something new. But I feel strongly that this is someone brand new. The tower is divine. It's very, this is shocking. Seven of Cups. You have options. And the world. Yeah. This person may have a lot of options too. I feel like you and another person, you're both telepathically communicating with one another or realizing that you need to cut out all illusions, getting rid of options. This could be someone um, who is saying to themselves, you know, next year, 2023, I want to meet the person that I'll marry. And, and I feel like I'm seeing like someone may be really going through their phone or through the, like their friends list on social media. And they're just cutting ties. They're getting rid of everything here. Someone is, is seeing a lot of signs, symbols, and synchronicities. I'm getting specifically where someone has been seeing like 1111 or 111. I said 1010 earlier. So someone could be seeing 1010 like, oh, something here needs to be over. It needs to end. Someone could be ending some type of cycle here. For some of you, this person, they may do something online as well with the world card here. And they could have a lot of people that's really interested in them. Or this could be you. Someone is getting clarity, though, about, like I said, some type of illusions here. Now, this could be someone who knows you. They could watch you even. Or you could watch this person. I definitely feel like somebody has watched you like from afar. Or you've watched this person or they've seen you before or something. They, someone, I feel like there's a little bit of uh, like an element here of it, not intimidation, but almost like shyness. Maybe, you know, because of what you do for work or what they do, someone here, or maybe someone is just honestly really, really attractive. And, and there may be an assumption that, you know, you or this person, you have people lined up at the door. Even if that's the case, this is someone that's like, I don't want that. They want something serious. I'm telling you, this is most likely this is the person that you've been waiting for. The person that you've been manifesting that's the reason why the enemy is about to go really really hard right now at trying to attack you the card that just fell on the floor is the two of cups wait one second oh yep two of cups it's the person you've been waiting for 17 17 on the clock they don't care about options this is someone who wants a full-blown commitment this is also your energy okay so the people who are presenting themselves to you in your life right now or that's coming back from the past. Some of you are going to have people reach out to you from 10 years ago because there is a signal being sent out stating that you will for sure be chosen 
or you will be choosing your person very soon. Every person that is attached to your energy right now, they're getting this signal. They're, whoa, they have no space in your energetic field anymore. That solar plexus sacral chakra energy that people have been pulling on of yours. Some of you, you don't know that. That that the, these um connections that people have to you, it's being closed off. They can't touch you anymore. The magic doesn't work, the telepathic communicate nothing. Yeah. The hangman. Because the illusions here, especially people who put you in third party situations, and there's a lot of interference here. These individuals who create these illusions that, you know, they have sh they've shifted or changed or they're different. No, you're moving past that. Walking by faith and not by sight. I think that a lot of you, you're, you're done with this being left out in the cold. You already went within and you know you have to sacrifice whatever this is. Either you're going to have to sacrifice it so that it comes back to you the right way or you're going to have to sacrifice it so that something brand new can come in. It's so cliche, but it's, it's true. If you if you really want to know if something is for you, let it go. And if it comes back, it's, it's yours. If it's not, if it doesn't, then it's just not. Yeah, because by you moving away and listening to spirit, instead of just staying stagnant, you going with Anne and saying the truth about a situation, it's calling Anne your true soulmate or counterpart here. The King of Swords. The King of Swords is a straight shooter. Like this person... This is the kind of person that will come in and, and look, the King of Swords, Ace of Cups. They may not be the most emotional person, but when it comes to them communicating their truth about their feelings and their intentions, they can do that. These emotionally unavailable people, these narcissistic-like personalities that you've had to deal with, that's coming to a close. This King of Swords is someone who is logical, practical, analytical, but they're spiritual as well. They can see through the facade. This is someone who can recognize that maybe you do need love. But this is also the type of person that's going to know that you want marriage. You want commitment. You're not looking for a good time. You're looking for a long time. They know that. And maybe they're looking for the same thing. Three of Cups. The Temperance. It's like the angels are saying, yes, it's time. You have been patient. You've been a good, humble, faithful servant. It's time. It's time for you to finally have victory and success. I feel like spirits, they have heard all of your, your cries. They've seen all of your tears, the conflict, the drama, the chaos, the competition. The things that you've seen, that you've had to go through in public and in private. God has seen all of it. And I feel it's truly about to reward you. I like this. And this energy is very, very calm. It's very soothing. You know, um, yeah, it, it's good. It's right. That's what I'm here. I just, it's it's just right. This isn't something you have to be afraid of. Knight of Pentacles. You took your time to get here. And someone took their time to come towards you. Even if you don't know this person, this person I'm here, they've lived their life. They've been around the world. They've seen things. They've experienced things. They're moving forward now with a higher level of consciousness and awareness. Someone here, they're very much, they're very, very self-aware. Their third eye is wide open. They've gone through a spiritual transformation. Some of you, this is someone from the past, or you have someone from the past that's also going through a spiritual transformation. They want to rush towards you. This could be a secret plan of theirs, or they want to rush towards you now because they're seeing the truth that. They deceived you and they shouldn't have done that. But like I said, for a lot of you, you're going to get the same energy from multiple people. May the best man or woman win. Okay. Because you're, you're carrying this energy now where everybody wants to come towards you. There's only one for you, though. They're all going to sing the same tune. I'm sorry. They'll all sing the same song. But the, t the, the tune that's for you, you'll recognize it. Everybody's going to come and say, oh, I messed up. Can we get it back together? Th that's what everybody's going to say. But you have to know who can you truly have peace with. 
Some of these people, they're going to rush in and they still have a third party in the background. They're still lying. They still won't admit what they did to you. How they did it. Why they did it. You shouldn't even waste your time on those people. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the match to this King of Wands. Okay. And there's reciprocity here because you and this person, energetically, you're a vibrational match. This high priestess. I think about the chakras. You and this person have already connected energetically. They feel what you feel. You feel the same things. You understand the same things. You've probably been on a very similar spiritual journey. But this is saying here, the worst is over. Like I said, being bored and discontent, you may feel like things are moving slowly for you now. It's because you you need to rest and retreat. You need to. You, you, you've gone through a lot. Your mind, your body is recovering for this storm that you've been through. But at the end, you get everything that you wanted and much more. Beautiful connection. Yeah, the will. Look at this. Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, the heartache, the pain, the deception, the betrayal, the carrying of the baggage of the heartache, the pain, deception, and betrayal. That's coming to an end. This is a positive turning point for you. Nine of Cups was out earlier. Emotionally, you're fulfilled. And then when it comes to your security and stability, you're, you're protected as well. Your finances and everything is protected. The reading that I did earlier today, I was saying for some of you, people have destroyed they tried to destroy your character. You've had people trying to get you fired from jobs, blackballing you. People have done a lot behind the scenes to try to make you come off as a bad person. People have done energy energy work. They don't want your they don't want you to be a vibrational match for the things that are for you. And this is why you have to be mindful of people coming towards you now, friends, family, lovers and all. Because the truth is being shown about who you truly are. And now that you know who you truly are and this truth is out, everyone who has gone against you, they're receiving their karma. And it's really bad karma for them. They're trying to hold on to you because you are seven of wands. You're protected. See, you know how to stand up for yourself and you also know how to be... Um, I just heard the word activist. So for some of you, maybe you are an activist of some sort, but you know how to protect and shield those that you care about. These people now, they're getting the message that you don't care about them or their well-being anymore. So they can't, when they tap into your energy, they're not getting anything back. See, these people who constantly try to tap into your energy, you have to give them energy for whatever their intentions are for you to manifest. Now that you're blocking them out of your energy, their black magic illusions, none of it is working. And even when they try and siphon and harvest your energy to manifest things, that's not working either. Yeah, because you already put your sword up. You're very defensive when it comes to these people, but you're making head over heart decisions. Because, or you should, because look, your ships are coming in. Something big is coming in for you. In Capricorn season, the devil. Also, the attacks are coming in as well. New levels, new devils. You you can expect this devil to come back. Whatever or whoever the devil is in your life, for some it's multiple. For some it's even your mindset. If you've been in this mindset of, oh, I need to wait for this person or whatever. Whatever you were doing last year or last Mercury retrograde, you need to do the exact opposite this time. If it didn't work for you, then it's probably not going to work for you now. Because a lot of these people, their intentions for you has not changed. Just their tactics have changed. Yeah. Knight of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, the Empress. Somebody is coming in fast who wants to work with you. Somebody wants to collaborate with you. Someone knows that you're very, very fertile. With this energy of abundance. And they want a piece of it. This could be someone from your past. That you need to be careful with. Rushing towards you. If they carry this dark demonic like energy. 
But for some of you in Capricorn season with the devil, you have someone that's going to quickly come into your life and they, you could have a past life connection with this person and everything that you've been trying to manifest, they're going to put the work in to ensure that you have it. This is the reason why you don't need to be caught right now juggling. Because if you juggle what's good for you and what's not good for you right now, I promise you, it's going to look very similar. And you don't want to miss this opportunity and be left out in the cold because many of you, you're going from rags to riches. Five of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. Vindication, rewards, recognition. You're going to have so much abundance and so many opportunities coming in that it's going to be hard for you to juggle them. You're going on a journey, a path now to real stability. The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you definitely have some good things happening in business, career, finance. Because if you have that security and stability in your, in your life, it's easier for you to bring love into your life. But they go hand in hand. So even if you don't have a lover, how you love yourself. You being at peace, even if you don't have much. You being at peace and having that trust, that faith and belief that everything is going to be okay. It's going to start shifting you out of this five of pentacles into this ten of pentacles. Yeah, being positive and optimistic brings destiny, wish fulfillment. Your wishes will be granted here. This is good karma. Seven of Pentacles. Whatever you've been working on, you're going to see the reward from. Like, it's coming. Let's pull a few love cards. I have some. Um, these are new love decks. I bought these off of Etsy. Because I've been reading the comments and you guys seem to be interested in love reading. So I want to try to give the people what they want. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. And then I'm just going to pull a few of these and then look at the overall outcome. The overall outcome is really good. I mean, that's without a doubt. Just don't get caught up. Okay. Do not get caught up on the wrong things. And, and you'll know. You will know. So let's see here. I will say in this time, you're about to receive a lot of answers. You're finally going to get that closure from the past. And it's going to really allow you to see the potential in all things like you're going to see the potential in career finance um business like you're just going to see that everything that you've touched it has a lot of potential and now that that energy is being cleared away because for some of you you're going to finally have that clarity or closure that you are really seeking i just feel like a like whew, it's like you've been just waiting to exhale like Okay, I finally know now where I'm going and what I'm going to do. And it's, it's just time. You're going to start attracting like new beginnings, new friends, um, just good stuff. Words of affirmation. Yeah, remaining very positive. Saying how you feel to yourself. Some of you, this person is going to come into your life. Like I said, they could have been on a, a spiritual journey um like yourself and the two of you you may this could be your love language as well words of affirmation or the love language of this other person i'm here it could be like both of you it could be your primary love language may be words of affirmation i said earlier this person is a straight shooter so this is the type of person who will probably be very encouraging they may be some type of public speaker or motivator okay or you may be it says never be afraid to express your true feelings with the one you love Seize the opportunity to let someone know that they are missed or loved. This may be you or your person's love language. Wow, I hadn't read that, but I, when I, I just, I'm familiar with the five love languages. But when I just saw words of affirmation, I automatically thought love language. Gifts and offers. That's another one of the love languages. <laughs> so you and this person, wow, is this person like a relationship guru or you? This person, I feel, has researched relationships a lot. Or maybe someone is currently reading the five love languages because gifts, 
um, receiving gifts is another one of the love languages. So this could be you and this person's primary love languages, like giving and receiving gifts and words of affirmation. This is someone who will be very caring, kind. They believe in small gestures, whether it's, you know, writing you a note or, or sending you flowers or whatever. It's like you finally have a person in your life that you're, that's going to give you a peace of mind and they don't mind doing things to help you feel like you are special. You need to be affirmed and reaffirmed. It says we deal with enough stress in this world daily. However, this connection is a haven. You will be happy to know you both can finally relax, love and dream. I love that. And here we have lovers love. This is a time when intimacy and sexual healing are needed and desired. Take the time to blow off some steam in the bedroom. Ooh. <laughs> and then here's choices and decisions. Here is love letters. So this person may like love letters or this may be the type of person who will just buy you, you know, a card when they're at the grocery store for no reason. You know, just like the small things that actually really matter. This is someone expressing that they're devoted and they're committed to you and your connection together. This is not someone that wants to just come in because it's Mercury retrograde. So just know some of you, you have people in in it's clear because they don't put forth any effort. You have a person that's entering your life who's going to put forth the effort. And they, they know how to communicate. It says it's, it's time to decide what is the best solution. You can no longer pro prolong this. The longer you wait, the more delays this may cause somewhere down the road. Yeah. You have to make a, a decision. If you want to deal with the person that, you know, is caught up. In any way, because it, the past person could be great for you. Whoever in your life comes and you have to deal with delays. If you're, if they're not willing to give you a serious conversation about what's next, you may want to leave that here in 2022. Slow down, okay? So something here, obviously with the king and queen of wands here, okay? And you and this person having this very, very strong connection, things here may move fast. Okay. So somebody may come in and you may know right away, like this feels really good. Slow down. Also, because like I said, with this energy, there's a good side. There's a bad side. Like with everything, be mindful of people coming in, love bombing you as well. If somebody is saying that they've changed, and they really want to be with you now. What is the rush? Right. What's the rush? Why do they need to suddenly, you know, act like they're the perfect person? Let them show you that over time. But if it's a new person, things may move quickly. But don't be afraid to say, hey, I have boundaries. Okay, there's a lot. The courting card is here. Yeah, make sure this person courts you. Quality time is here as well, which is another one of the love languages. Somebody is reading this book or <laughs> they've studied the love languages a lot. If you haven't, you can read the book or you can even like find a YouTube video that just sums them up. It's very important for you to know your love language and to know the love language of your person. And always keep in mind that when you want a reciprocal, like a reciprocal relationship with someone, you don't love them according to your love language. You love that person according to their love language. Just because your love language is gifts, that doesn't mean that you need to give them gifts. That may not be their primary love language. Their primary love language could be words of affirmation. They may want you to write them a note and put it in their lunchbox. They don't need a gift. So just keep that in mind. Because I feel like for some of you, in this journey of courting and having a more serious type of relationship with someone, after everything that you've been through, and maybe even what they've been through, it may be a bit of an adjustment for you to learn how to really be considerate of another, of another person and also allow somebody to be considerate of you. Because let's just face it, a lot of people who have been on this journey, that's right here watching tarot, have not experienced like the best relationships. So to have someone to properly love you and give you a peace of mind, that's something that's new. <laughs> it may even be triggering, right? Something about this energy, though, it feels so peaceful. Very, very peaceful. Emotional support, yeah. 
Emotional support is falling right under peace of mind. Main attraction, lover's lane. So in this person on lover's lane, listen, this it's, it's a time when intimacy and sexual healing are needed and main attraction is here. It says someone can't keep their eyes off you. You are the leading star. You are the center of attention. So this is saying that when it, this is a monogamous relationship that's coming. This person, they don't want to, they're, you know, it's nothing wrong with people having friends of the opposite sex or whatever. But this is someone here who I do feel they're all about you. You don't have to worry about this person trying to sleep with other people. You don't have to worry about the third parties. You don't have to worry about that. When it comes to lover's lane, it's just you. They don't see anybody but you. Okay. I feel like this person, they really like to watch you work as well. Some of you, you may do something where you take pictures. You could be a photographer. You could be on a platform. This person is totally in awe of you. It doesn't matter if you get your hair cut, a new hairdo, if you try a new lipstick, if you go and you take a picture, if you're standing in front of one person or a million, this person, they're all about you. This is a, this is leading to a divine union. Okay, very soon. Magnetic souls and devotion. Somebody here could be a, viv a very vivid dreamer. Maybe you've seen this person in your dreams or they've seen you or they're having very vivid dreams. But devotion here. Yeah, this is like amazing. It really is. Like, I, I really don't want to, I don't even really want to tap further into this because it's just good. Like, I feel like it just needs to stay here. <laughs> it's because, you know, when we start digging into these cars too much, something's going to pop up. <laughs> so, let's see. Spear, what's the final outcome in this situation? Are there any warnings? Like I said, you you do have there are, there are clear warnings and red flags here with certain people. Like I said, if you know that you want a, to go into a divine union where you have emotional support with someone that you're really compatible with, you just have to make a decision now to not fall for someone that is going to come in and love bomb you who doesn't really put forth the effort. People have to go overboard with gifts and words of affirmation and other things when they don't put in the effort. When you're dealing with someone who is emotionally supportive and they're devoted to you and the connection, they don't have to do that. It's the norm, right? The seven of swords. All right, there we have it. Someone being sneaky. The chariot. Somebody could be um, making a plan, though, to move forward with you to give you the Ten of Cups. Someone could be hiding the fact that they're going through some type of ending in their life. You could meet someone brand new, and I'm t they may not come right in and tell you exactly what they're going through or what's happening. Somebody um, also, for some of you, this could be someone from the past or someone new. Someone doesn't want you to know how much they've been watching you, stalking you, or spying on you. You could meet someone new. This person has watched you. They, they know something about you. Judgment here, they've watched you and decided that they want to make an offer to you. Yeah, the hermit. This person has been somewhere in the dark watching you work or some somehow you and this person you're spiritually connected you know what i really feel i really feel like you have a person who has watched you someone has been watching you overcome something in your life they've been waiting on you to be ready for love or this is you the roles can be reversed but Someone has been watching you transform. You know, this could be someone that you don't know. They um, they could just see what you're posting or things that you're saying or if they know someone that you know. Like somebody here, and it has been coming up a lot. Some of you, you don't know someone directly, but they, they know of you or they know something about you. 
again, someone here is a very vivid dreamer. Someone may have like a gift of prophecy. They've seen you or they know something about you. I don't know exactly how you know this person, how they know you, because from it seems like they're a stranger, but they're not. It could be just a very, very strong past life connection. I'm not taking it however it resonates, but this person has been watching you, waiting on the right time to approach you, or this person has just been... Um, If that's not the case, this person has been going through a, a, a major ending and a transformation. And they've possibly been researching the best way to go about moving forward with you so that they could have the Ten of Cups. Or some of you, this person, they come off as someone who's very ambitious, like even sexy or well-known. But like I said, when it comes to them pursuing a serious relationship, they may not know how to do that. This is someone here who may have a lot of options or they're used to people approaching them. This may be the type of person that says, I'm never, a, you know, this could, for a man, this may be the type of person. That says, I, I don't ask women out on dates. They normally ask me or, you know, I've never been in a serious relationship i just hook up with people or this may be the type of woman that says i've never initiated contact with a man so you know like i said for some of you you need to do something you've never done before like if you're a lady and you're you know kind of old-fashioned like i'm not gonna reach out to someone first your husband or counterpart or you know whatever may be the person that you actually say hello to first maybe you need to slide in their dms you like it's Something here about kind of like the roles reversing or you doing something that you don't typically do. Or maybe, like I said, this is the kind of guy that they're like, I don't take women out on dates. I don't wine and dine and do this. And they end up with you. And before you know it, like I said, they're dropping notes in your in your lunchbox type situation. You know, <laughs> it's like this kind of love is very new to you and this person. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups was just there. The Queen of Cups, and here is the Emperor. And the Devil. Wow, the Moon, the Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Tower, the Empress, the Lovers. All right, I'm going to leave it right there. So, like I said, right beside this Emperor here in your life is the Devil. This Emperor could be a Capricorn. This Emperor, you may meet them during Capricorn season. You could have someone from your past that has caused issues for your life who could be Capricorn. It's something very, very significant about Capricorn, okay? Now, the card that was out before was the King of Cups. There is, for some of you, there's just a karmic connection that you have with the person. That situation is still, like, haunting you in a way. This person here, they could be contacting a high priestess or using divination spying or something else to try to hold on. Somebody does not want to let you go. Someone in this, like I said, devilish energy, they don't want to let you go. Okay. And this is where the black magic, witchcraft, the illusions and everything else is coming from. If you're a high priestess, you really need to trust your intuition and keep your energy as clear as possible. Because you do the lovers here, you do have a choice. And some of you, you have a choice to be the Queen of Cups or to be the Empress. There's only one Emperor. You can stay back and deal with some person that is not for you. You will be forever a Queen of Cups. Or you can become an Empress and match this Emperor. But that means that you have to allow endings and transformations to come. And you, you cannot allow any type of blockages. And illusions or confusion to hold you back if it's toxic it's toxic there's no no point in constantly trying to see it as anything different somebody is coming in they're scheming they're lying they're cheating they've always avoided responsibility they've stabbed you in the back and there's some type of opportunist these are the types of energies that are coming towards you to paint a picture like they're the high priestess now. They've learned their lesson. And maybe they have. But just because someone has learned their lesson doesn't mean that you're meant to be with them. Sometimes you're just a person's karma. Okay? And you have to know that which, what you have coming in, you're going to encounter this devil. But what is coming right now 
is the Knight of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands. The attack is coming because you're going towards a new passion beginning, most likely with the person you will spend the rest of your life with. And this person that is coming in to have this passionate beginning with you, this person is take charge. They carry like this warrior-like energy about themselves. Look, they're passionate. Like I said, this person is a straight shooter. They're going to tell you. Within about seven months, this person will be talking to you about marriage if you're not already engaged or married. And I've been saying this for at least a year. Many of you, the relationships that you get into, they're going to move quickly. Because like I said, for some of you, this person has been watching you. Or they've been having dreams about you. Or like God has just revealed to them what, what their life is supposed to look like, how it's supposed to go. They've just been waiting on the person or this could be you. So when this person enters your life with the right energy, there is nothing at all for you to hold back. There is no reason for there to be delays. You're just going to go right into the life that you're meant to have together. Very, very beautiful. So this isn't a time at all for you to play any games or let anyone play games with you. Because, again, you're going from the Five of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. This being left out in the cold, dealing with financial hardship, feeling abandoned and, and struggling in love or in life, that's over. Like, the Ace of Pentacles is out here, like, three times. And you're going to have options with the Seven of Cups being here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a dream. Like, like you're going to be like, is this real? It's like fantasies and dreams becoming your actual reality. Being very, very happy optimistic about taking a leap of faith by leaving something or someone behind for good page of wands and the, the um sun some of you could receive news about a child or just some new beginning here it's like something huge you're achieving something big by going into just this new cycle and a lot of things and people just cannot go with you. And I would say it's not just about other people. Your mindset can't go with you either. So this was like an amazing reading. Please leave in the comments that you claim this energy. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if you have you guys met this person already or, you know, don't tell too much of your best because, you know, not everyone is is wishing the best for others but i just i hope that everyone gets to experience this very very positive uplifting energy it's a very um steady type of energy it, it doesn't feel slow i feel like once it comes to you you're gonna have to tell yourself to slow down but it's it's comforting it's secure it's stable um i like it a lot so um yeah that's that Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You guys, um, love is coming out. Um, that's just what's coming out. You know, I never know what's going to come out in a reading. So I guess, you know, if you got, continue letting me know in the comments if you like the way that I'm reading the, the energies more related to love. I'm going to read whatever comes out. Um, but I'm still trying to decide if I should do love readings. If you would like in-depth readings about your situation, whether I do them by the elements or by your individual signs, please let me know in the, in the comments. Because um, I actually really enjoy, I enjoy this reading a lot. It's very, very, you know, positive, light, uplifting. I have another deck here. I'm just going to pull a few of these before I get out of here. I'm just, I'm kind of exploring my new decks too. Oh, let's just see. This is a like a, a updated romance angels deck. Let's see what it says here. Start a new relationship <laughs> and make a selfish decision. Sometimes in life you have to make a selfish decision and do what's best for you. Absolutely. When someone leaves, it's because someone else is about to arrive. Wow. Is that not what we're just what we've been talking about? indulge in a relationship good relationships don't just happen they take time patience and two people who truly want to be together see that's what i'm saying like for some of you this new relationship or you know even it's a new relationship whether it's with a new person or someone you know from the past 
but <laughs> you and this person you may sit down and actually read books together i'm i'm literally saying right now like you guys doing like relationship quizzes together like you may decide like hey let's do the five love languages quiz you're really trying to go about doing this the right way and i really feel that for some of you either you or the person you're connecting with they don't really know how to have a serious relationship because they haven't done it but i feel like when your energies come together they're inspired or you are to learn to meet the needs of the other person very beautiful like someone here is choosing to be selfless love at first sight we don't meet people by accident they are meant to cross our path for a reason let's get one more how cute is this okay well two cards came out it says dangerous of a lustful relationship lust is a tool does a tool desire a trap what is this will the first and you can take someone's soul fall into the second and they can take yours be careful like i said who you're giving your energy to some of you you're going to have a lot of passion with someone in your life that's meant to be but let's face it some of you your connection to people who are not for you it could be very lustful and you need to make sure that you don't allow that to get you caught in some type of um karmic situation because I, I keep seeing it. The manipulation, the the witchcraft and everything else is at an all-time high right now. So sex magic and everything else is definitely going to be used. So be careful, like I said, who you're exchanging your energy with. But it says enjoy life. Keep on, keep on these. I don't know. I think that these cards came from, I don't remember. I know I have one deck that's coming from like Austria, but I don't know. These cards to me grammatically like there's errors here enjoy life keep on meeting is i think it should say new people keep living your life as if it is the end of it just go for it yeah just enjoy life enjoy while you're in enjoying life and being selfish you're gonna meet someone and it'll be love at first sight you'll feel comfortable about indulging in this relationship and actually starting a relationship a lot of you you and another person you're longing for love and i feel i feel like you and someone both you're longing for like actual marriage and that's what you're gonna get yeah look a life partner beautiful